Hello YouTube, this is Aman Juman from Techis365. In this video tutorial, I'm gonna try to show you how to set up split delivery with Google Workspace and Zoho Mail. So what is split delivery? So split delivery means you're gonna use one domain with multiple uh, email service provider. Like I said, uh, there is a one user configured in here for one name is uh, aman at telecaremedicine.com but another user created on the Zoho panel, which is admin at telecaremedicine.com. So the MX record is, primary MX record is Google, which means only Google able to receive mail. Zoho able, the user, if we try to send a mail to user at Zoho, he will not able to receive the mail because of the MX record is Google. So as you can see, that's the, priority which is lowest priority means it will hit to the google mail first so now if i try to go if i try to send a mail let's just send a mail from my gmail mailbox and let's try to send mail to admin at telecaremedicine.com mail test one send so we probably going to see that mail is bounced or it's just not found because that's actually there is no user in google workspace with that name let's just see as you can see uh, address not found so this is what happens when you try to send a mail that not exists in google workspace so if i try to send a mail to mn at telecaremedicine.com which is exist in google workspace let's see what happens telecaremedicine.com send and let's check command mailbox I got the mail in here so that's it now we're gonna configure the split delivery so split delivery should be I should go in as you can see the user is here so I'm gonna go to the app Google workspace and Gmail in Gmail I'm in Gmail section I'm gonna create a host in here. So in in host section, I'm gonna create a host which is Zoho. Let's give its name Zoho Mail. So it's not single host; it's multiple host because they gave me a couple of uh, MX record. So I'm gonna configure this MX record in here. So MX record Zoho for 25. Uh, the MX2 Zoho primary. So that's also for 25. They have MX record 3. Which is for Don't choose 468 as your port number. That's restricted by Google. So we're gonna use port 25. So load, let's give it a load. 40%, 30%, 70%. Okay, let's give it 50, 40, and 10%. And let everything check. So still is, which is okay, safe. So our host is configured. Now let's go back to the Gmail settings. Now let's go to the advanced settings and we're gonna create a root in here. So configure a root. Let's give it a name. So uh Google space to Zoho split. Very, very good. Let's just give it a good name just for us. So 
So I'm going to here select inbound and internal receiving. So whenever someone send mail, only it goes to that relay. That's routing actually. So here, uh, we're not going to pick anything. If you like to specify any user, only that case, you're going to select. Otherwise, no. So we're going to click on modify message. And we're going to select this header because we like to tag that that came from Google Workspace and the user would like to send. And change route. So we're going to change route to Zillow mail. And if you like to also receive, send, uh, change route for spam mail, so select that in case if it's necessary. And suppress browns from recipient. I don't think I'm going to select that, but however, you can select it and everything looks good i'm gonna click on show options and in that case you're gonna just select on uncategorized or catch all so it's gonna if you if you have any other mail other than admin anything it's gonna literally try to send uh, the second mail to second mail server i mean that mail to second mail server. If not, then only that case is gonna mark as a bounce. So that's all I need, I guess. Add settings. And here now we're gonna just oh it's enabled. So we're gonna try now. So here, let's go back here. This is my normal Gmail box. I'm gonna send mail to admin. Subject mail test. Try to send it. So now I'm gonna check this mail in Zoho mail. Let's wait for mail to show up in here. I guess it's, uh, we are not going to. Okay, it's actually. Okay, it's bounced back. So we forget to click save. So let's save it first. Okay, now it's saved. Now let's try to send mail again. Subject mail test before. Now it's supposed to be in Zoho mail. Let's wait a couple of seconds because Gmail is going to check its directory if there is that there is any user available called admin. Okay, we got the mail in here. So this is how we should configure our Zoho mail and our Google Workspace to set up speed delivery. So that, that's all about today's video. Uh, and another day I'll try to set up, show you guys how to set up dual delivery. So thanks for watching this video. Please make sure you subscribe our channel.